We got a special guest for you. It's Ghostface, fresh off the killing floor. How you doing, Ghostface? Where's my money? Ah, oh, just tried and true. Oh, look, it's I Jasmine. thought I would. <laughs> wanted to see what it's like. I'm Mason Gooding. And I'm Jasmine Savoy Brown. And we're the cast of Scream 6. We're here with 17 to play Superlatives. Super Who's most likely to leak a spoiler? So just by virtue of how many times Paramount has emailed me, I have to say myself, but I, I'm not happy about it. It's you. That's okay. And also probably Dermot. And also Dermot, yeah, come Dermot's on. Dermot's a, a leaker? Okay, that sounds wrong. <laughs> he spoils. He's a leaky He's a boy, yeah, Dermot. Who's the biggest prankster? Um, Probably Melissa. No, take your time. Because she loves, to, it's me. It's Jasmine. And she, I love a prank. she pranks even now. And she does the thing oh where she God, taps. What is that? One, one. Who tapped you? Stupid. Red. We'd be like getting direction on a scene in which someone has recently been decapitated. And you would feel a <laughs> tap on your shoulder. And you'd turn to the left on the shoulder you would tap, and there'd be no one there. And you'd look, and Jasmine would just be like, <laughs> and you're like, come on, man, my con. I can't keep it in. Who will always make you break on set? Dermot, Dermot, Dermot will. Dermot. I'll try. But you do it in a way where I'm like still Dermot's in Dermot's not it. doing it on purpose. Dermot will catch you up. You'll be like, Dermot whoa. Thinks, <laughs> thinks he's acting. That's a choice. <laughs> Whereas I'm I'm not acting. I'm trying to mess up your coverage so that they have to keep rolling on yes. mine only and I have more to do in the movie. That's right. Jasmine's the type to hide next to the camera and make silly faces while you're crying over a loved one or something. Who has the best social media? I mean, Melissa is posting a lot of good like pictures and stuff. Definitely you, Jasmine. No, it's, it's not. It's unhinged. I have the least amount of followers that means of everyone. nothing. It's quality over quantity. You <laughs> post maybe the most hilarious content. It's me. Um, I love it. Another wild card option, Devin Nakoda. Devin's Nakoda. Devin's Nakoda. Devin's Nakoda is quite good. Uh, Liana's um, Finsta. Liana, is Liana, yeah. Liana's killer. a great photographer. So best yeah. social media in so much as the well, quality. Who is Liana? Who has the loudest scream? Uh, Jasmine Depends on does. What context. Jasmine does. You want to show us right now? It's Just nice of you. Ready? Um. Uh, uh. Ah. It was so loud that it was quiet. Yeah. Only dogs. Kind of like when it's so hot, it's cold. It kind of is. You like know that. what I mean? Yeah, it's, yep. <laughs> Who's always hosting parties in their trailer? So I don't know if anyone was hosting parties, but my trailer was always occupied by both Iggy, my dog, and Jack Champion would just constantly <laughs> just show That's up. That's true. Hey man, what are you doing? That's and a really good Jack and Yeah, it's because he was always there. And oh I'd be God, like, yeah. all right, Jack, what do you want to talk about today? There was times when I was like, I wanted a 15 minute nap. I would love to answer your question about what matters more, truth or consequences, but I'd like to talk about that tomorrow. Jack is all so about can... hard hitting questions at your most vulnerable He should host time. a podcast. Oh, that'd be great. Who takes the longest to get ready? I don't know. Courtney, maybe? Maybe. I think we're all pretty quick. You're in now, because you I'm, do your I'm own hair. I'm easily the fastest. Shortest to leave, Jenna will we'll like get back to the trailers and she'll be ready to go. She's a gone, she's instantly. at the hotel. That's not the question, but that girl. How about we take this out of the context of for work and in general, I think Devin, because she's like fashion girly. So Devin, Devin. who takes long to get ready? Devin Nakota. Who's most likely to take something from set? Well, Melissa took something, I took something. Jasmine, you, you talk about this watch all the time. I love the watch. And Melissa took a scream mask, a ghost face oh, mask. Did you I, take anything? I oh, have Josh. Him wear Chad's jacket from the first movie, for sure. It's I a good one. That. Yeah, but that was given to me. Was it? Josh, like me, we were in a little text chain because he took a bunch of stuff home and Ron was like, Josh, there's things missing from your trailer. And he was Shut like, that's whack. Called him out right now. Well, we, he already my... had the ship on back. Oh my so God. Did I. They're like little gifts. Exactly. Who's most likely to do their own stunts? Devin Nakoda. Devin Nakoda or Jenna Ortega? Or Melissa. Devin was bruised up. She gave her all. And Jenna famously has been offered pads on every single stunt she's ever done, but declines them every time and has some of the gnarliest bruising I've ever seen in my life. Because it's ghost face. She put her whole gussy into her stunts. Yeah, that'll be great for publication. Who's most likely to catch Ghostface IRL? You or Courtney? Courtney, right, you think? To catch them? Like to find out who it is or like to physically Yeah, I don't know what this them. means. Are you saying catch these hands? Or hey, are you saying well, like- Listen, I'd say a toss up between Courtney or Hayden. Oh. As I've said many times, I think you would therapize Ghostface. I think you'd get- I would get him get, to take off the mask. You'd catch Ghostface slipping emotionally and you would uh, make him feel maybe more secure about his uh, personality. Start with his Enneagram and his birth chart. Great. 
and work his way through his childhood. That's right. And then Mason would say, what do you need? You need groceries? I'm gonna get them for you. the left hook. Who's most likely to be the last one at the rap party? Melissa was the last one at the... Was she? That girl knows how to procure a good time. Yeah, she does. Every day was kind of a rap party. Every day was a party shooting this movie. We would hang out either in the courtyard of the hotel or in our rooms. For whatever reason, we were really about celebrating nothing in particular. And Being we alive, would order like love. hundreds of dollars worth of pizza. The problem with our parties is we like to play really board games, but like trust shakingly, like deceptive board games, <gasps> yeah. where people just question their uh, friendships and allegiances. Yeah, like mafia. Who would have the biggest blooper reel? Dermot. We could make a separate movie out of Dermot's <laughs> gag reel and sell it and. Knowing him and his talented self, we'd probably turn a pretty Make nice millions. profit on that. Millions plus. Jenna had one really funny blooper that I won't get into now, but Why? I texted her, I thought about it. I'll tell you when the camera's not on, because it was really inappropriate. <laughs> it was great. I'm excited to hear it. We keep it light and fun. I mean, between takes, we're just kind of goofing off. The scene that I shot with Jack down in the subway, we were having a great time. We were laughing with the crew and the extras because we were both improving, making jokes. Mm -hmm. I forget until watching the movie yeah. that we shot a horror film. I think of it as a romantic comedy. Really? Yeah, that's uh, applicable. It's funny, filming Scream, we say the same thing every time, is it feels like a different movie and then people start dying. I think that adds to the horror aspect is that you'll be getting so close to this cast of people you love. As their characters die in the in universe, the actors will maybe leave and go home or rap, and it actually does feel like a certain light form of mourning uh, when they're gone. Yeah, and you sad. talk like, oh, I miss, I miss characters that have passed. I love that sound. ASMR with 17. Who's most, most like, like their, their character? character? Ghostface. He's consistent, if nothing else. Hayden. Panettiere is very much like Kirby in so much she's incredibly plugged in. Kirby is so involved in horror and the mythology there, but Hayden's actually a big like fantasy nerd. I don't know if you is knew she? that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's she knows everything about like Lord of the Rings and other like potentially dorky universes. Who knows the most about the Scream franchise? Definitely not Courtney. She hasn't researched no, at all. Certainly not. And also not Hayden. They both really don't know anything about these movies. It's Courtney. It's Courtney. Of uh, but, oh, but, well, she knows a lot about the behind the scenes factoids. Jack like, knows quite a bit. Both Jacks. Jack. Old Jack, new Jack. Yeah. They both really love the Scream franchise, and you know quite a bit also. I had to, to write a paper about it. I want Research you to read one. the paper. Read the paper. I'd rather cut off my leg with a saw, but. That's... Uh, Specific. But yeah, I Let's think Courtney knows a lot about the BTS in the making and would share stories that have obviously never been published and won't today. Who's most likely to pass Ghostface's trivia questions? Not me. Not, unless it was about musicals or cats. Yeah, if you asked Melissa and I, between the two of us, we would survive. Jenna would survive Ghostface's trivia about Film. horror movies. Yeah. Without sweating or being nervous at yes. all. She'd be like, oh, that's the answer, that's the answer, that's the answer. For you, right. it would be anime. You would pass anime questions. Devin, maybe fashion questions. Who gives the best advice? Uh, Melissa gives pretty good advice. Melissa, Melissa gives very direct advice where it's yeah, like which I appreciate. prescribed. She'll be like, it. that's stupid, don't do that. Jasmine gives the most thoughtful advice, but requires a lot of questioning to like get to the root of it. Sorry. It's like doing research before actually. I want to really understand like yeah. the pieces to then go, okay, given what I know, X, Y, Z. That's right. Mason gives really good, simple, comforting advice. Right, it's always like, from a place of like. Eat something and take a nap. Yeah. You know, sometimes that is take really what I need to hear. It's true. Uh, every problem ever can be solved by just taking a nap. The cast of Scream 6 will always Kiss. crab walk. That was great. Crab walk. <laughs> Jenna Ortega can make you laugh real hard. Really hard. Jenna's hilarious. Courtney Cox is always on time. Why does that what came to mind? Is that even true? Yeah, she's incredibly professional and very time efficient. <laughs> that was the her. first she, thing. Courtney Cox is always on time. Mason Gooding loves to hug you. These are the things Aww. just coming out of my- I was gonna say eat a rotisserie chicken, <laughs> but I'll take Mason Gooding loves to hug. Singing, oh my goodness. You know what's so sad? I was like, Jasmine's boy is so good at nothing. I need to call my- I'm, You do. It's call good for a nap and it's some chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hayden Panettiere is obsessed, obsessed with fantasy. Me. Big fantasy fan. Dermot makes you memes. joyful. Dermot Does Mulroney he make memes? makes memes. Well, he's he is a, a meme. He ma makes a bunch of memes, and I don't even know if he's making memes. According to a six-year-old today, me and Dermot look like husband and wife. That's a meme. See, that's a meme machine right there. Thanks for hanging out with us. And 17. Don't forget to watch. Scream. Six. Out. Now.